Have you ever planned to build a project car and say, you know, I'm just gonna do a few things to it and I'll be done. This is exactly what happened with Adam LZ's S15 Sylvia. This was supposed to be one of his missile cars and then it got painted this beautiful green, which made the rest of the build escalate extremely quickly with over 400 horsepower, bright buckets, a beautiful paint job, work wheels, and just everything you could ever imagine. This is a fantastic example of an S15 street and drift car. So what's it like driving a built S15 on the street in the United States? Let's go for a drive and find out. You guys like the pink harnesses? They really bring out my eyes. <laughs> All right, S15. It has been a while since I've been in one of these. Beefy clutch. All right, off we go. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Adam LZ's S15. The Nissan S15 Sylvia, I have a pretty weird history with. I drove it the first time in 2015 and drove it all the way down the East Coast from Virginia Beach all the way to Tampa, Florida. And so it was the longest time I had ever driven right-hand drive on the wrong side of the road. If that makes sense, or wheel, cut the road, don't arrest me. But the S15 was a car that's a forbidden fruit to all of us here in the United States. So it's pretty hard to imagine that we're seeing them more and more, but especially more as track cars. Adam bought this S15 very much to build it almost like a really nice missile car, but then the paint job came out so good in this beautiful green that he realized that, oh crap, now I have an excuse to make the rest of the car really nice. <laughs> Me and Adam go way back and the very first car I ever drove of his was his S13, the cream one. Very much his like signature mascot for years. <laughs> oh, backfire. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> you got balls, David. Thanks. With Adam, a lot of people associate S chassis and 240s with him. And no matter how many cars he builds, right? When you think Adam, you think about S chassis. It's very much like with me, no matter how many cars I build, it doesn't matter what it is, I'm still associated with Mustangs, right? To this day. So a steering wheel, hydro e-brake, ready to go at any moment. But what's really nice too is even though there's a hydro, he also has a functional regular e-brake too. A lot of the times in these drift cars, they'll just completely remove that 100%. And it's just not as fun to drive knowing when you park that you're kind of playing fire. Speaking of really nice things, the work wheels on this thing. I think this is my favorite set of works I've ever seen. And work makes obviously some of the best wheels in the world. But man, on this color combo, white and green, what an amazing looking thing. The S15 always had a really aggressive face, but not everybody is always sold on the rear of the car. You know, it has the jokes that it's a Pontiac Grand Prix and stuff like that. The S15 I drove was actually a naturally aspirated SR20, so it was the very base of the base of the base model by my buddy James, who also owned the Jasmine Evo. But I've always wanted to drive like a built one, and this is the very first built S15 I've ever driven. SR20 turbo, but not just that, a Garrett single turbo, so you know it's gonna spool extremely fast and extremely efficient. The kit on the car, the paint job, the headlights, the S15 has had this very angry face. It's like the evolution of the kooky front end. I'm still driving a race car, like I still have a cage around me. I'm still in ride buckets. The S15 in general, its interior is leaps and bounds better than its other brothers. The S13 is, it's aged a lot inside. The S14 is so much better, but the S15, the dash is a better material, it's just a nicer car, if that makes sense. Even though I have all the drone in the world right now, it's still a nicer car to be in than the other S chassis. But what's really funny is you look down and then half of the door card is still there because the cage had to be installed. But they still were able to keep the rest of the door card and I actually admire that. I like that they didn't give in and just, you know, tear away the entire thing because it was easy. But 
the roof spoiler and the wing on the trunk. It just has a really beautiful side profile. The S15 has one of the best side profiles ever. When Adam started driving for Formula Drift, I wasn't surprised when he chose the S15. It's one of those beautiful drift cars that looks good sitting, looks good going sideways, or even just driving down the road. Oh yeah, all of Adam's cars run on Ignite Red, by the way. So it's like the best fuel in the business, but you always get a whiff of everything as you're driving it down the road. Also, Adam, I know you're watching, so please, for dear God, when I say this, but by looking at this hydro e-brake, you are so tempted <laughs> to slide every U-turn, slide any cul-de-sac, it just, right there, it's like, please, just please let me do my job, what I'm meant to do. Driving on the street is fun, you have the presence, but yeah, this thing was totally built to be a drift car, but it's <laughs> literally maybe the nicest hybrid street drift car I've been in. Usually with drift cars, they're insanely nice FD spec, or they're kinda sorta nice, or they're just trash. Cause they're like, I don't care, I'll hit any wall, I'll hit any door, I don't care. This is just so clean that I almost feel bad driving it. But what I really love about this car is that it feels like an evolution of the Cream S13 hatch. Not that the Cream S13 hatch is a bad car, it's still set up extremely well for drifting with the SR20 and everything. And the fact that Adam had the patience to go through an SR20 or two over and over again, I commend you, sir. But I remember originally he was thinking about 2J swapping one of his other cars and that's how the FD car ended up coming to be. Him getting the freaking stroker motor back then. That's a nice sound. It's so weird how it, this is gonna sound really strange. Some cars, when they're spinning, it's almost a good thing because it makes it really fun to kind of pedal and modulate and be like, yeah, I'm the one in control car. Like, you know, some cars, I'm yelling, hold on. 
some cars are even fun just cruising around. This one is, but when you're on this thing and you're modulating throttle, you're pedaling it, you're keeping it straight, that's what makes this thing like, yeah, that is an S15 with an SR20 turbo. It's just really fun to get it up there in the revs, hear the sound, and it has the most adorable blow-off valve ever. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit a like on this video and leave a comment down below of what you think about the S15. And on that note, I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Big announcement. Super proud to announce my first ever merch collection over at TDIB Merch. Dot com with designs I'm super proud of. So for my first ever collection, make sure to head over to tdivmerch.com and consider supporting the channel. And thanks so much for the support. This video is brought to you by Patterson Car Care. Get double of premium original detail product for half the price. Head over to patersoncarcare.com or go to the link in the description below.